majority get their space in a vacuum. The true vacuum refers to the complete absence of matter. But how can space be a vacuum? Space contains stars, asteroids, moon, and planets. How can space contain all these massive bodies and still be a vacuum? It's because space is big. Between this sum, between this large objects, there are millions of miles of emptiness. This empty space is sometimes called interstellar space. This is practically devoid of all meters, so it's effectively a vacuum. Sun wave can travel only 2 meters. Since there is almost no meter in interstellar space, sound can travel through it. The distance between particles is so big that they will never collide with each other. I will explain about the block diagram in communication in solar space. Firstly, the information source send the message to the signal. The transmitter transmit the signal to the receiver. Between transmitter and the receiver, there are noise source that will interrupt the signal. Lastly, the last destination is satellite and the message will convert the signal into message. Today, I will explain you operation of aerospace communication. There are 1,700 satellites that we are communicating with. Say that we want to send a command to the satellite notice 36,000 36, no, kilometers above the earth. So the command must be then converted into the radio wave, which type of ultra magnetic that travel in that travel 300,000 kilometer per second, which is speed of light. The command converted into signal, the ground station antenna will transmit the signal toward the satellite. The body sensitive antenna is used to receive the signal. The onboard system will convert the signal into code, which the onboard computer that can understand. For the general information, the ASAT, which is the big space network, consists of antenna complexes at three locations around the world, which at Canberra, Australia, Madrid, Spain, and lastly, California, America. This is communication between aerospace and ground, satellite. The satellite processes the data using a number of an onboard transponder, which is radio receiver, amplifier, and transmitter. The plane transmitter signal by using ACTH, which is aircraft communication addressing and reporting system, is a digital data link system of transmission of short messages between aircraft and ground stations via airband radio and satellite. Avoiding this is an electrical equipment that located at the cockpit of aircraft, not to mention it including control, monitoring, communication, navigation, weather, and anti collision system. Air traffic control. Air traffic center controls the activity directly from the ground and retrieve the data using aircraft. The data that reaches will be displayed on the radar scope which prevent the collision happen. Now, I want to explain you about local communication on Mars. Messages sent by a rover are first of all direct to Earth. They communication daily and directly to Earth using the height gate antenna. But most of the time, rover mainly uplink their information to nearest spacecraft orbiting Mars. Analyzing the Mars Odyssey or Mars Global Super Superior Orbiter. The rover exploring Mars, communication with each other with the orbiter and deep space network through the expand UHF antenna, which are close range antenna use a low power. These, these are like walkie-talkie compared to the low range of a low gain and high gain antenna. As for the conclusion of this project, we can conclude that communication for the aerospace may involve the satellite. For example, every aeroplane in our country will have its own location detector. Thus, aircraft can communicate with each other by sharing their data. From this communication system, all aircraft can continue their work easily without any accident among themselves caused by not knowing their current location of other aircraft around them.